Wrap Masters Application Steps and Procedures for Installing the Permawrap Composite System. The Wrap Master Corporation recommends the application of the Permawrap Pipe Reinforcement System to be made only by certified Permawrap installers. Step 1 Access the defect and determine the number of Permawrap kits required to complete the pipe repair. The Permawrap sleeves are available in five standard widths. Six, 9, 12, 15, and 18 inches. The permawrap sleeve must extend a minimum of 1.5 inches beyond the edges of the defect. Step 2. Check kit items and tools. Use the following checklist to ensure all kit items and tools are accounted for prior to initiating the repair. Step 3. Preparing the pipe service before installation. The pipe should be grit blasted to an ACE 3 or SA 2.5. The key is to provide an anchor pattern 3 to 5 inches beyond the width of the sleeve. Step 4. Marking the repair area. Dry apply two wraps of the permawrap sleeve around the repair area, centering the sleeve over the defect area. Using a marker, trace the sides of the composite sleeve prior to removing the entire sleeve. Position and mark the leading edge of the sleeve. Step 5. Applying the anchor pad to the pipe. Remove the backing from one side of the anchor pad, then center and attach using the leading edge line. Secure the anchor pad by pressing down firmly with the plastic putty knife for optimal attachment of the anchor pad. The pipe surface must be dry and clean. Step 6. Mixing the filler putty and adhesive. Mixing of the filler putty and the adhesive should occur simultaneously. When mixing the putty, a mixing surface and a putty knife will be required. The filler putty materials are prepackaged in plastic pouches. Use the plastic putty knife to mix the filler putty. To properly mix the adhesive material, the following tools will be required. A jiffy mixer, a low-speed drill, a red plastic paint can scraper. Most of these tools are provided inside the accessory kit. The adhesive is provided in pre-portioned quantities with the quantity dependent on the size of the sleeve to be installed. Using the mix charts located in the adhesive container, add the activator quantity to the adhesive according to the highest temperature to be encountered, ambient versus pipe temperature. Once the correct quantity of activator has been added to the adhesive, Mix the material using the Jiffy Mixer and a low-speed drill for approximately 2 to 3 minutes. At this point, you will need to scrape the inside of the adhesive container with the plastic paint can scraper to ensure the activator is mixed thoroughly with the adhesive. Then, continue mixing for another 1 to 2 minutes. Step 7. Applying the filler putty to the defect area. Apply the filler putty in slight excess to the defect area across the leading edge of the anchor pad and on both sides of the pipe seam. This will ensure a load transfer path to the permawrap sleeve. Use the putty knife to remove the excess material and smooth the putty to the original pipe configuration, making sure the putty is pressed into any voids. Step 8. Applying the adhesive to the pipe. Pour the adhesive into the paint tray and begin to apply adhesive with the paint roller using only downward strokes. Apply in slight excess the adhesive to the entire pipe surface spanning both sleeve width marks. Do not remove the backing from the anchor pad prior to or during the adhesive application. Step 9. How to attach the sleeve to the pipe. Remove the backing from the anchor pad. Inspect the leading edge of the sleeve to ensure it is clean and ready to apply. Using your anchor pad as a reference, attach the leading edge of the permawrap to the anchor pad. Then firmly secure the permawrap to the anchor pad by tapping the sleeve with the rubber mallet. Step 10. Wrapping the sleeve around the pipe. Continue applying adhesive to the sleeve while wrapping the sleeve around the pipe. Proceed as required until the stop reference line is visible. Apply adhesive 1 to 2 inches beyond the stop reference line. 
Step 11. Tightening the sleeve. Remove the backing from the Velcro pad and attach it to the sleeve. Position the pad in the center of the sleeve and in the best position for engaging the adjustable torque bar assembly. Attach the torque bar strap to the Velcro pad and lightly tap it with a rubber mallet. Position the torque bar and then apply steady pressure to the torque bar for two minutes while striking the sleeve with the rubber mallet until the excess material, adhesive and putty, begin to exude from the edges. While maintaining pressure with the torque bar and after the excess adhesive and filler putty has been exuded, tightly apply two to three wraps of securing tape approximately one inch from the sleeve edges. Should the sleeve spin during the tightening process, remove it immediately from the pipe and discard. Step 12. Sealing the sleeve edges. To protect the repair from moisture, seal both edges of the sleeve and the trailing edge of the sleeve with adhesive. This provides a transition taper on the side edges for the pipe coating. Allow the adhesive to cure approximately two hours, then apply a pipe coating and backfill. 